Many people like to use digital camera photos as a desktop background image on their Windows 8 desktop. While this is fun, those files are very large when they come off of the camera. Optimizing large files and making them smaller file sizes is a great way to reduce memory usage in your Windows 8 operating system, and it's actually very easy to do. In this tip, we're going to start by going to my website at pcmtechhelp.com. We're going to download a free software package known as the GIMP. It's a Photoshop alternative and it's completely open source. You can find it in the free download section under Photos and Images and select the GIMP. Now, of course, this is also available anywhere on the internet. You just have to Google the GIMP and you can download it there as well. Once you've installed the GIMP, you can launch it any way you wish. Personally, I'm just going to use the desktop icon I created. The GIMP at the first time may take a little bit to load, but once it's loaded up, the rest is pretty simple. You just have to select File and then select Open. Then you have to navigate to wherever your file is located. This will be your desktop image or a personal image that you're going to be optimizing for your background. Once you've opened it, you can just drag it up. I'm personally just going to drag it so you can see it all. And then you just have to select the File menu, and you're going to scroll down to Export. Once your Export window comes up, you want to select down here the File Type by Extension. Then we can scroll down through and select the type of file we want to export this file as, and this will be our optimized image. Now, if the image has a lot of just solid colors and it's not actual, actually a photograph, you can use a .gif. If it is a standard photograph, I always recommend people use a JPEG image. Personally, I'm going to select a JPEG image for this example, but it probably is more appropriate for me to use a GIF. Then I'm going to select Export. It asks me if I want to replace my already existing one, and I'm going to go ahead and select Replace. And then it actually comes up with a dialog that asks me what I want my quality to be. Now this is where we're, going to where we're actually going to see the amount of file optimization we're getting. But we have to check this box to show the preview in the image window first. Now you'll notice that my file size is 71.4 kilobytes, which is actually pretty small for a desktop wallpaper already. If I slide this ticker to the left, it'll actually calculate my file size even lower, and it'll actually re-optimize my image right here in the software. So I'm going to drag my export image to the right here, and then I'm going to drag the other window to the left, and I can actually preview my image while I'm working on the export option. Notice if I keep going left on my quality, the grainier the image will become grainier and start to look worse and worse. So at this point, you're going to find an ideal medium that you're happy with that will give you the quality you want, but also reduce the file size as much as possible. Once you've decided what you want, you just need to select the export button and it'll actually override the top of it or it'll save it as whatever separate file type you've exported it as. And that is pretty much it. Once you've completed that task, you're just going to go back to your desktop, right click on it, select personalize, and then you're going to select desktop background. For picture location, we're going to select browse. I'm going to, mine was located on my desktop, so I'm going to select desktop. I'm going to select that desktop wallpaper, and I'm going to select Save Changes. And that is it for this video.